I saw somebody using a little wireless. This is a chippy with carry pad. We're uh, I mean, just getting a little look here at what's been launched today, which is the tablet user experience for Mego. This is something we saw a preview of in Computex last year. This is the idea of the panels um, that scroll left, right for different panels and up, down within the panels as well. So what Intel are delivering here for their customers, this is not for end users, although I'm sure the user experience will be available as a download on, uh, on the Mego website for people to, to test and develop with. Um, this is for uh, OSVs to take and, and turn into to end, end products. Um, Intel telling us that uh, their customers wanted um, a basic uh, UI that they could take and expand and, and, and adapt. So they built this in XML, uh, sorry, QML, um, to allow it to be modified very easily by the uh, end user. We We've got this idea of each of these panels kind of being its own notifier, so here in the friends panel we're seeing uh, notifications from our social networks, from emails, etc. We've also got a suite of apps that have been built in here. There's a browser based on Chromium, we've got an email client, video client, um, music client, a picture viewer, uh, and of course um, settings and setup here. And the idea is that either developers or OSBs can create new panels uh, allow the end user to customize the, the experience here. They've kept the idea of, of right click, so that's a uh, press and click to, to, to view uh, menu systems. So there is that, that sort of um, context uh, available within the apps that have been provided. Um, it uses the sharing sus subsystem as well uh, of Mego, so it's looking pretty good for, for the OSVs. Um, what we haven't seen here is App Up. We don't see how that uh, is integrating yet. Um, we'll expect to hear more about that pretty soon from Intel. So this is it. This is the tablet user experience official, finally, for Mego at uh, Mobile World Congress 2011 in Barcelona. My name's Shippy. Thanks for watching.